Hi, it's Anne from the Useless Crafter. So today for our Cricut tutorial, we're gonna make Jasmine off the mat. Um, I'm gonna shoot for 60 inches. I would love to do 62 inches because that's my height, but you know how I am with seams. So let's talk about that um, right now. So uh, we're gonna have to definitely do some um, some tricky stuff, um, come up with some new tips here because I know at 60 inches, we're gonna have some issues. Um, the main thing though is I'm only gonna go as big as I can that where her face won't have any seams because it's too distracting when the face has seams. Now you might say the arm is long, which it is, and at 60 inches it's gonna be very long. But do you see how it has like a natural like uh, curve right here where her, on the other side is her elbow? So I, we can continue this little cut right here and make it, make the arm into two, like deliberately make it into two pieces. So this black outline's gonna cut through right here as well on this side if we needed to. Um, kind of like, you know, where her face and her neck, like that's separated, um, we would have to do that. The other place that I think we're gonna have an issue is this pant leg. Um, not the whole thing, because it's cut up into pieces, which I like, but I'm worried about this piece. And I think if this piece needed to be sliced up, either we could take this seam and come up and so that the, you know, the pants are, this little leg is in two pieces, or what I would want it, what we could do is see this seam right here. We can make a parallel cut right here. And I think the same on, on this pant leg. So take this seam right here and, and cut another one right here. So we'll see what this is gonna turn out to be. So let's, first thing is let's um, select all and let's change the height to 60 inches and see what we have. So I'm going to zoom out so that we don't have to scroll up and down so much, okay? And then let's go look at, let's check the face. The face is most important to me. So here's the face on the right-hand side panel. Um, go to contour and let's isolate just her face. This is how we're gonna see how big we can make it, okay? So let's hide all and I want the face and I don't want the arm, so let's see how big this face is. Okay, so the face is 11.7 by 10. Mm, so let's select all for a second and let's go to 62 inches and see what we have there. Okay, did it update? It did, okay, because now it's 12.099 by 10.5. And we can make that work actually because as long as one side is less than 11.5 then we can trick it let's see so it's at 12 let's move this face just a little bit more over a little bit more okay that's not gonna work so I, it is so close. So what I was gonna say is, you know, the Cricut only allows you to cut 11 and a half by 11 and a half, but if you trick the system by thinking you're gonna put, by letting them think you're gonna put in a 12 by 24 piece of cardstock, you could technically cut 11 and a half by 12, right? But the problem is, this one's just slightly too big. Um, so let's undo this for a second. Okay, I'm gonna move this back in here. Hold on. Let's select all and delete it because I've thoroughly messed this up. <laughs> let's go to upload and bring her back in. So view all and let's go get our girl. All right, so where are you? Here you are. Okay, so I'm gonna change the height to 61 inches and see what we have here. 
So let's ungroup it and let's look at her face. Um, contour. Hide all. Let's look at the face. So select the face, but deselect the arm. And okay, so I can make this work. So 11.889. It's going to cut all the way to the edge. So let's do it at 61 inches. Darn it. Okay, so let me save as. And we're going to change it to 61 inches. And maybe I am only 5'1". <laughs> maybe I won't wear shoes when I take a picture with her. We'll see. Okay, so let's go back to the face contour. Click hide all, and then it'll give you the option to show all. So that way you can do one click and everything comes back in. Okay, so we have all of this. Um, let's do it. Everything else we're going to... Um, we'll fix along the way. The face was my, my main concern. So let's do the face first. Okay. So let's move the face over and let's break this up into pieces. Okay. So let's bring in a square and we're just going to slice everything apart. Okay. So make it really big and let's slice up this arm first. So grab the skin color pieces and the square and slice. And I don't know if you're noticing, but when we're slicing, you don't need to grab all of the square. And the reason why that's important is, let's pretend I hadn't done that, right? If I grab all of this and I kept going, I'm gonna end up grabbing some of this blue over here and that's picking up more than two items. And so you're not gonna be able to slice. So the way design space works is that you literally just need to touch it a little bit and it already grabbed it okay so you don't need to make um <clears throat> you don't need to grab a lot and i'll show you what i mean over here so let's slice this one apart and let's turn our square a little bit because this piece is hanging out by itself okay so I think that gets everything. Let's double check. Let's turn it a little bit more. Okay. And so look, if I grab, oops, <laughs> bad example. Hold on. Okay. So I'm going to go this way and like, I'm just barely grabbing that square and that's enough to grab two items. Okay. So it's not a big deal with what we're doing right now, but when you have a lot of pieces, like a lot of traffic right there, <clears throat> It will help you slice um, without a lot of work when you do it that way. Okay, so let's grab this piece now and slice. And then we, um, I'm gonna delete this. Okay. Now her face and the neck, it's so close together. I'm not gonna be able to slice that. Oh, what's at the bottom? Oh, her feet, okay. I didn't notice that I already got rid of my square. So let's bring in another square and let's slice out the, her little foot. Okay, slice, and then we'll slice out this foot. Then we're left with the face. Yeah, I'm super, oh, I grabbed too many items. Did you see what happened? I went like this, so I grabbed the other foot the skin color pieces and the square. So slicing is grayed out. So you always know that you made a mistake. Okay. When the slicing is grayed out 99.9% .9 of the time it's user error. <laughs> I mean, I know design space is glitchy, but I will say with slicing from what I've seen, it's always user error. <laughs> okay. So let's move these little pieces up. Okay. So now we have the face and the neck. The other way to separate pieces like this is using contour. And the reason why we're using contour in this one is I can't get a square to isolate just the neck, right? Or even a circle, whatever shape you use. This one's so close and it has all these curves. So I'm gonna use contour. When you're using contour to separate it, however many pieces that you wanna separate it into, like in this case, we want two pieces, then you need two copies. If there were three pieces, like if there was an ear that was separated, then you need three copies, okay? So duplicate this one. And then you're gonna go to contour and let's get rid of the neck. So now we have the face isolated. And then on this one, we want the neck. So on this one, click hide all. 
select the neck, deselect the face, and there you have it separated. Now the neck is all good. Let's look at this face. Now the face, if you remember from my Cricut tips or my off the map tips, um, I always like to make a copy of the face and then I um, contour out all the eyes and the mouth, like all the slits, so that if there was a seam coming through, we will be able to hide those seams, right? But you can see right here, let me show you what I mean. So let's duplicate it. It's a little bit easier to see what I'm talking about. Let's contour and let's hide all. So it left me like a blank face, but this eye is not contoured out because it wasn't enclosed. You see there's a little gap right here. It can't close it out because it's not enclosed. So the way we're gonna go around that is go ahead and grab a circle and we're going to close this out. I'm gonna zoom in so you can see like exactly what we're trying to do. We wanna close this gap, but like keep it within that shape, right? So I don't wanna close the gap by doing this. I wanna go and get it kind of like right on the edge where if the designer created this, and this is pretty good right here because it looks like that's the way it's supposed to go. Let's grab the two items and weld. Now it leaves this little thing. Now it's enclosed, right? So now we can go to contour and hide all, and it's gonna hide that piece, right? Now this is why we do this, okay? Let's say, I don't know where the seams are gonna be, but at 61 inches, there's gonna be seams everywhere in that black background. It's so big. So if there was a seam running through the eyes and through the mouth, right? Like let's say there's a seam, this seam right here at 69, right? It's going all the way through. There's a seam there, a seam through the mouth. She has lips, but the lips doesn't cover that whole area, right? So we're gonna still be able to see the seams. Same thing with her eyes. While the seam's not gonna be running the whole way through because we have stuff covering it, um, we will still see the seams. And I feel like naturally when you look at these pieces, you look at their face because their eyes are really pretty. Their face is so pretty. Um, you're gonna see those seams. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna, you make a copy of the face, right? You contour everything out. You change this to your black background. So what happens is this face is gonna sit on, on top. Your black piece is gonna be behind it. And both of these items are gonna sit on top of your black background. So if there was a seam running through, you can't even see it now. And it's really important, these little tips, because it all the things that could distract you from it is gone. Now the only seams that are gonna be left are on the edges. And your eyes aren't drawn to the edges and they're gonna be tiny little seams that when you add it all up, will probably add up to like an inch. So then it really does look seamless because you don't see them in your main pieces. All right, I'll get off my soapbox that this is so important to me, the face, I'm telling you, that's what you see. So, um, all right, so let's go back to zooming out. So we've got the face, let's look at the hands now. Now, um, these little fingers are separated. So let's separate the fingers from the arm. Okay, so that's two pieces. So let's go to contour and hide the hand here. So here are my little fingers. And then on this one, let's contour and hide all. So leave us the hand or the arm. Okay, great. So the arm is 11.55 by 9.2. So with Cricut Design Space, what it does is the way it measures its um, width is from the most far left to the most far right. So with this being 11.55, if I went this way, my most far left and my most far right, I changed it when I shifted this, this piece, right? So what I thought we would need to slice, we don't because now it's 10 by 10, which we can cut, right? So it's it's just funny, these little things that if you don't understand the, um, the logic behind how design space makes the decision, <laughs> you basically can, you know, we just worked around it. We didn't need to do anything to this. Okay, so this piece is all good. Let's look at these little fingers. Um, 
I don't necessarily want these to be in different pieces, so I'm actually gonna weld them together. I don't think anyone's gonna notice her little fingers, so I want to make this basically one piece. I don't wanna deal with, uh, oops, let's bring in a square. I don't wanna deal with all these pieces. So then what is that, four or five, five pieces? Um, so let's make this square. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so we can see what we're doing. Okay, so maybe I won't do all of them together, but I kinda want this pinky. So let's unlock it. We're gonna attach that pinky and maybe attach this to something. So let's go over here. and maybe attach it to this knuckle. So unlock it. Make it a little bit smaller. All right. Okay, I'm gonna do that. So instead of it being five pieces, it's gonna be one, two, three, three pieces. And you may not think that's a big deal, but it is because now you don't have to make, you know, align these two or these two. It's just a lot easier. Okay, so now we've got that out of the way. And you know, with this being 61 inches, anywhere that we can make it easier on ourselves, I promise you, it really does make a big difference. And I'm actually going to be making this piece, so I am definitely making sure it's gonna be easy for me to piece together. <laughs> okay, so let's look at this little guy. So this one, everything is connected except for this finger right here. So I do think I need to slice it right here. And it's a little bit of a curve. So, and I'm gonna make it a deliberate slice. So I'm gonna go to my text. I'm going to, let's go to our font. If you don't have this font, it's called I Love Glitter. If you don't have it, I highly recommend that you download it. It's free from DaFont, okay? So D-A-F-O-N-T dot com. And what you wanna type in is to the right of the letter P is a square bracket. Um, click on that or type in that square bracket. And where is my thing? Okay, it's thinking. Uh, where's my little bracket? It's this piece right here. So let me bring it over and make it really big so you can see what that looks like. So I like this one because it always has that curve and so it's it makes it look more natural watch so you see that little curve right there and let me zoom in so that we can really see this okay um i want to make it as natural as possible so see how that that really fits that curve right there i feel like i can make this a little bit better and I could probably make it a little bit thinner. So I'm gonna unlock it and make the make it a little bit thinner so it looks more natural. It fits in there right about there. Okay, I think that's gonna be a really natural looking deliberate seam. Okay, so grab the two items and slice. Perfect. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is Let's zoom out for a second. Do you see like that arm to me looks, where is that arm right here? I don't think anyone's gonna be like, wait, why is that arm in two pieces? And I didn't wanna make it just a, a slice because then you can see the cut line, right? This looks like it's just deliberately two pieces. And so that's, you know, there's gonna be times when you wanna slice it and there's gonna be times that you wanna do this. The reason why I chose this is because the skin color is gonna show the seam. So that's why I wanted a deliberate cut. Now, when you're dealing with, um, like let's say in her hair, because it's gonna be black and it's glitter, um, I would just wanna do a slice because the black glitter cardstock is gonna cover up that seam and I'm gonna have it butt up against each other. So it's not gonna be a deliberate gap, okay? So that's the difference. Okay, so we've got this. Let's um, duplicate it because we need to contour it out. So let's go to contour. Let's hide all. 
And let's put that there. Okay, so now this piece is 12.1 by 8.7, but we know we can turn it, and now it's uh, turned it too much, 10.3 by 11.1, .1. perfect. This one, I need that little piece up in the arm, so let's hide all. I want this piece, I don't want this piece, okay. So here's that little piece. Now this little finger, I don't know why it's not touching. Um, I'm gonna make it touch because I don't wanna deal with that little piece. So let's bring in a circle, unlock it, and kind of shape it to something that fits more. Um, it needs to be flatter. Okay, something like that. All right, let's grab that and weld it. Oh, that looks kind of bad. Hold on, let me zoom in and see if I can fix that. I don't, I don't want it to look like she had a broken finger. <laughs> so let's go over here. Let's look at that a little bit more. Yeah, I'm gonna cover up that little thing right there. So let's um, unlock it. that's gonna make it look better so grabbing the two weld it okay so that kind of looks like her knuckle that's that's a little bit better for me <laughs> all right let's zoom out and let's continue working on this wonderful piece okay um, these things right here just grab it we don't need it delete it I really do like that cut I can't wait to make this and show you the difference um, and hopefully you'll agree now this her little outfit right here um, oh it shifted a little bit already okay it goes like this um, I'm tempted to make this little thing in her hair gold so let's work with that first so that I don't forget and then we're gonna have to deal with her with these pants because I, I do think it's gonna be too big. So first thing is let's um, get a circle and let's slice this little piece out. And I think that got everything, okay. So I'm gonna slice it out and I'm gonna change it to gold before I forget. Cause I kind of, I feel like with that detail, this little piece gets blended in. So let's go to the color and change it to gold. Okay. All right. So let's look at this. Oh my gosh. It's 30 by 45 inches. I mean, it's a lot of pieces. So let's bring in a square. Let's slice out the shoe here. I think we're gonna be doing a lot of contouring because the, the pieces are so close to each other. You probably should just contour this out. Yeah, okay. Um, let's separate the top though. The top is one big piece. So let's get this situated there. So the whole top is out. Let's grab this and slice. And let's look at this top. So this top, we do need to separate it into pieces. It's one, two, three, four, five. I don't know how I feel about that fifth little piece, but okay, here's two, three, four, five. Let's go to contour. And let's just go by this panel. Hide all, it's gonna leave us the top. So move it over. Do the next one, contour, hide all. We want this piece, not this piece. Okay, um, the next one, contour, hide all. We want the third piece, not the first piece. Okay, contour, hide all. We want the circle, not the first. It gets easy, right? And this is, you know, making anything this big, it's gonna be a lot of steps, it just is. Um, but it's not hard, it's just a lot of steps. <laughs> Let's go to contour. 
Um, hide all. We want this last little piece, not the first piece. Let's see how small this piece is. Oh, you know what? It's still sizable. Half an inch by half an inch. Okay, it's not going to be tiny, tiny. All right, so I'll keep you. Okay, let's look at this guy. So off the bat, I think I'm going to separate this into like this whole thing is one piece. This whole thing is two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight pieces, okay? Let's do this. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. Let's contour the first the first section away. Um, okay, so if you click where the percentage is, it automatically goes to 100%. So I'm separating out this piece right here. So let's get rid of this, this, this oh okay this little guy these are all the things we don't want i basically separated this quadrant if you want to call it that. <laughs> okay here's this let's do the next one contour and so i'm going to click the 27 percent goes to 100 so i can see it better Let's hide all. I want this piece, this little guy, and maybe even, no, I'm not gonna want that. And deselect, oops, deselect this one. Okay, so I'm left with this one, and I'm gonna kind of piece it back together just so that I can see what I have, okay? Let's look at this one, contour. All right, I let's 100%. I want this one. Oops, hold on, hide all. I want this one, this one, and this one. So you can kind of see it's all together. And I'm gonna deselect this one. So here's this piece. I mean, the great thing about this, this design though is that the pants are in so many pieces and they have so many creases. So this one, we can easily continue to, um, to make that deliberate seam here and that will break off the pieces. So I do think it, It'll look, it'll look pretty good. Let's go to contour. All right, so 100%, we've got this piece, this, and this. So now let's separate, hide all. I want this piece. I don't want this piece. Yeah, this piece is huge, 12 by 17. So I'm thinking either we slice up here here, but that's still gonna make it, we're gonna have to slice this way. All right, just thinking out loud for our, our, our next few steps. Let's go to contour, let's get the other pant leg. So click on 100, hide all, I want this piece, I don't want this piece. And this is sort of, you may think it's a lot of work, like rebuilding it over here, but I wanna make sure that I didn't lose any pieces, you know, leave any behind. So let's grab this contour. So we've, we're almost done. We want, let's hide all. We want this group of three over here. Don't want that. Right, so let's make sure we have almost everything. We've got that, that, that okay so this moves down a little bit more that's what's wrong with this there so we've got that piece this goes right around here i guess oh we're missing we're missing this piece that's what's okay so good to know we're missing that and the and the shoes so let's go to contour Like, why does it look weird? Okay, so hide all, we want this piece. That's what we were missing. Deselect that one. Let's get this one up here. Let's move this over, put this in. And this piece, yeah, this piece is too long as well. Okay, so the pants, a lot of work on the pants still. Okay, we need the two shoes. So let's go to contour, hide all, oops. All. I want this shoe and this shoe and I don't need this. 
All right, so I think we've rebuilt the, the pants. The shoes, let's separate them. Um, let's go grab our square. Grab the two and slice. Because even the shoes, I mean, <laughs> each shoe is five by five. That's <laughs> big feet. Okay, we've got that. Let's take this piece by piece, okay? So this is 13.7 by 18. It is way too long. So I'm thinking we slice right around here. Okay, so let's zoom in to, we're basically now that we have it in pieces, we need to still break it down further because we can't cut this on the Cricut. So there are several pieces by itself here. So I do want to separate those out. Um, where's my square? Here's my square. Let's get this triangle out. Let's get all the, the bigger pieces, like the single standing pieces out so that we know exactly what we're dealing with. So let's grab these two items and slice. Because when we move out this triangle, our dimension changes for this piece and we'll, we'll see, because we still want to make the least amount of cuts as possible, right? So this is 50. I almost feel like, okay, so let's get rid of this piece and this piece. So three pieces, okay. Let's contour, hide all, it left me the big piece. So this big piece is 13.7 by 15. Okay, let's contour this one, hide all. I want this piece, I don't want this piece. Here's our little guy, and we need this tip. So contour, I want this one and this one gone, so I have my little triangle, okay? I mean, even this, this is a, it's a big piece, one and a half inches by 1.3. Okay, so now let's look at this guy. <sighs> so 15 inches, it is just, you know what? This right here is the smallest amount so if we slice this off, let's do that. So go to your text. It should still be I Love Glitter. Hit that square bracket. Let's make it big. Okay, and let's go to our outfit. Where, where are our pants? Let me zoom out so I can see my pants. Okay, there it is. Down here somewhere. Over here. Alright. Okay, so let's zoom in. So I feel like I feel like if we make a cut right here, they'll separate it into two pieces. Let's do that because this cut right here is so easy and no one's gonna notice it. That looks pretty natural to me. Hold on. Let's move this over a little bit more. And I think that looks pretty good. Let's grab these two items and slice. That looks pretty good, gotta say. <laughs> All right, so let's duplicate and separate, okay? So cus um, contour, let's get this out of the way. So here's our one piece. Gosh, these are such big pieces, 4.7 by 11. All right, let's contour, let's get rid of this, this side piece and let's see what we have left. So now we have 11.4, so we're good with this length. It's just too long. So I think we should do a cut right here. We could actually still use this piece. Let's go to contour and get rid of that bottom piece. Okay, so I'm still gonna use this. Um, let's turn it this way. And let's continue the cut like this. I'm really matching it up to 
the curve so that it looks really, you know, as natural as possible. Actually, I feel like something like that. Okay, ready? Let's grab these two and slice and see what this looks like. Yeah, I think that's gonna look really good. Pretty good. <laughs> let's delete that. Let's separate this into two. So let's contour. Oops, sorry. I need to duplicate first because I want two pieces, right? Contour. Let's get rid of the top. Leaves the, or whatever. <laughs> let's contour. Let's get rid of this and leave the bottom. All right, so now this is 6.9 by eight. This is gonna use a lot of cardstock. This is 10.4 by nine. See, it's all good now. Okay, so that, let's, let's get rid of this. So that leg is all good. Let's look at our next piece. So we still have a lot. <laughs> Let me zoom out. Let me see how much more we have left. Okay, let's come back to the pants because I feel like the pants is a lot of work. So we've got our gold. Our gold should all be pretty good if we can slice it out. So let's bring in our square. And you know what, I'm gonna show you how I'm slicing this in a lot of traffic, okay? So I'm gonna make this square really big. So I'm separating out this belt section, okay? So I'm gonna take my arrow or my cursor from here and grab this way. So see, it's in a lot of traffic, but I was able to just grab those two items and I'm gonna slice it out. So good, these two can be together. Okay, so now we gotta get rid of this. I'm gonna do it right here. And you see how close her, the pants are, this right here, but you, as long as your, air, your cursor is only grabbing those pieces, then you should be fine. All right, so here's the earring. And then all that's left is, why is this so big? Let's go to contour, it's picking up something else. Oh, it's picking up this little piece. So go ahead and select that to deselect that piece and then you just have that. Now it's 14 inches by six. I don't know if twisting this is gonna help. Oh, it does. We don't have to slice it, it's 10 by 11. So we're really cutting down on the amount of seams. Like I'm, I think this is gonna look pretty good with what we're doing with the pants, like making the obvious cuts, no one's gonna know that it was supposed to be together. Um, I still think we have some challenging moments ahead of us because these are so big, we're gonna have to think about that. But um, I would say that with what we're doing, it is gonna be as seamless as possible considering she's gonna be five feet one. <laughs> That's gonna be pretty cool. Okay, so our next piece. Um, I mean, kind of the same thing, right? So slice it, maybe slice it right here. So let's, again, text. Let's bring in that square bracket. Okay, and let's scoot down. All right, here we go. So I say right here, and I'm going to flip this. I mean, I guess I didn't need to flip it. Okay. Kind of want to do something like this. I'm going to use that this curve right here to continue up. Like that. Okay. Grab these two things and slice. It's not the best, but because it is still like a curve in itself, I feel like it looks deliberate. Okay, so let's uh, duplicate and separate it into two pieces and see what we have. So contour, let's get rid of, um, this is our long piece that's left. So it is, it's long, yeah. 
we're still going to need to do something with this. Probably like a deliberate, well, let me put it back and see. I mean, it just needs to be like, let's bring in another. I put it back just so I can kind of make a decision of um, where I want to, uh, where are you? <laughs> okay. Let's look at this piece. Come on. Okay, so I put it back so I can kind of see what would be a natural it's maybe something like that okay so I grab this hit the shift key grab the top layer of that and slice so let's see what it looks like So this piece, let's go to contour. Let's get rid of the back. Oops, no, I don't want that. I want that. So that's what that looks now. Looks pretty good to me. Okay, so this piece, let's separate it into two. Duplicate, contour. Don't want the top. Here's our bottom. Contour, don't want the bottom. It looks pretty good. Okay. And these pieces we can cut now, right? Okay. Slowly but surely making our way through, okay? All right, so let's look at this piece. Oh, this piece. Oh. I almost feel like a little cut this way. I kind of want it to be parallel with this. So let's do this. Let's duplicate it. And let's do something like, so you see when I slice this, it's gonna have sort of like the same cut, okay? So let's grab the two. Now, honestly, I don't know what I'm doing. I've never done it like this. <laughs> let's slice it and let's see if, okay, so here is, I don't know what I'm doing right now. Okay, let's. Let's move this. Okay, so this piece, I don't want this. So let's contour, and I don't want this piece. Okay, so I have this top piece. Oh, you know what, hold on. I'm making a mistake. Let's, I was on the right track, but this is where I made the mistake. I need to duplicate a little bit more. I think that's already. Okay, here we go. So first of all, this is our piece. Let's duplicate it one more time, okay? This is what it needs to look like. We're rebuilding that, okay? This one, I'm gonna slice it here. I'm gonna make a deliberate seam, right? So I need to slice it once and slice it again. So I'm gonna duplicate this and I'm gonna leave this here for now, okay? So let's do this. Let's slice. And I know this is crazy town right now. Um, let's go to this piece and contour. I don't want this. So this is this is gonna help us rebuild it. So I want, so here's my top piece. Like that, right? Then here's my bottom piece. Like, how did it all shift? Okay, but this one's missing this piece and I want another cut right there. So hold on, because I want a deliberate seam, right? So I'm gonna bring this to the, wait, hold on. So this is like this. So I want this. Okay, I think I got it. So 
So I'm going to slice this and this piece and slice. I think I got it. Okay, so this piece contour. <laughs> I don't want this top piece. We'll clean this up. We'll snip that off, okay? Okay, so the pants is going to look like this. even match up it's so weird okay so now I think we're good so here's our pant leg it's gonna look like this we'll snip that off later but now this is 11.1 .1 by 12 that's okay um and then this piece okay all right I think we're good. <laughs> Let's get rid of all of this. And I don't think I need this. Oh, hold on. Undo. You know what? This piece might be better. So let's grab this and weld it. I know you're just like, am I lose? I hope I haven't lost you guys. Oops, hold on. Undo. I grabbed too many pieces. Okay, here we are. I want to grab this and weld it. I think that will give me a better top piece. I think that piece is better. All right, I'm gonna delete that so it goes like this. So that's the leg. <sighs> I don't know what I'm doing anymore, okay? <laughs> Let's see, all right, so we have this left. I'm winging it and I'm gonna make it. We're trying to, this is just craziness. Okay, so this piece right here, what are we gonna do with it? It is, it's too long. I feel like slicing somewhere right here. Okay, so let's bring in our handy dandy bracket oops okay so here it is and I'm gonna save it it better save okay I've had some issues lately where I go to save it and my whole project disappears <laughs> I would have just cried right there okay so let's see all right this piece right here I kind of just want a deliberate cut. Let's make it thinner so it's not so thick. And something like that. Because I feel like with a little curve, it feels like it's just part of the pants. So let's slice. Okay, so here's our two pieces. Duplicate, contour. Let's isolate. Okay, so this piece is 2.8 by 8.4, all good. Contour, get rid of this piece. And this piece is 11.1 .1 by 6.3, so all good. Okay, so let's, these pieces are all good. Um, I'm tempted to weld these two pieces, but I'm just gonna leave it as is. We may need those pieces separated so that we, it gives us room to fix any mistakes that we made because we have multiple pieces. So I'm gonna leave it like that. Let's look at this piece. This piece, if we separate out these pieces, I think we might be okay. So let's make it into three, contour. Um, let's hide this one and that one. That leaves us the big piece. And our big piece is 4.1 by 12. Let's turn it a little bit. Five by 11.49, perfect. Let's go to contour. Let's get rid of this piece and this piece. That's our little top guy. Okay, and then we need this slender piece right here, contour. And let's deselect the big one and the small one up top. That leaves us the little one. Okay, 
We are getting there, people. Okay, last piece. This one is a doozy. I feel like we slice it somewhere right here. Just one slice. So let's bring in our text. Oops, come on. Oh my gosh. Let me just make it bigger so it's easier to handle. Okay, let's pull it over. Where is that pant leg? Where are you? Oh, it's over there, okay. This is our last slice for this piece and then all we have left is um, the background and the background's gonna be relatively easy to what we just did. <laughs> All right, so let's make this a little bit thinner. Okay. And let's, I, you know what, I think, let's unlock this and yeah, there we go. Okay. Something like that. Okay. Let's just do it. Slice. Okay, duplicate, contour, separate top from bottom. Okay, so our top is 6.7 by 13.2. So of course, we're going to tilt this a little bit. 9.4 by 10.7, perfect. Contour, let's get rid of this top piece. Oops, hold on. Here we go, 8.8 .8 by 9.9, .9. we're good. Okay, we sliced them. All right, let's see what we have left. Um, okay, eyes, we should separate that. Let's bring in our square and let's just slice this apart. I'm gonna make it a little bit because we're gonna use it for the, the brown eyes too, okay? so let's. Separate the eyes here. Let's do that. Oh, hold on. Let's go down this way. Nope. I'm in too much traffic. All right, so let's do this. Here we go. Okay, slice. Get rid of this. Let's slice out the teeth. And then we'll do the eyes and then we're almost done. This is going to be so worth it though. She's going to look so good and she's going to be huge. Um, it's actually going to be my biggest one I've ever done. So I think I'm pretty sure it's the biggest one I've ever done. Okay. And her lips, we can just leave her lips together. <sighs> okay. Save. Don't do me wrong right now, okay? <laughs> all right, let's just move all these pieces over, okay? Oops, hold on. Give us some clean working space, okay? I'm gonna move it all over, move the eyes over. Let's clear out the bottom as well, just so we have room. Okay, we've moved everything over. Okay. So we have her. She's 35 by 61. So it's gonna be four rows because 11 times four is 44 and 11 times three is only 33. So that's not gonna be enough. So we're gonna need four columns and we need six, 24, oh my God. <laughs> okay, let's just start building it. All right, so let's put her right here. We're good. Let's start building our squares. We're going to cut with 12 by 12, 65 pound black cardstock. And I'm going to, because we're using 12 by 12, technically you could do 11 by 11 and a half by 11 and a half, but I cannot handle half inches definitely with this project. And in this case, it didn't matter. Um, so I'm going to do 11 by 11 squares. Okay. So let's bring in our first square. 
our first square, we're going to make it 11 by 11 and just plot it somewhere over here. It doesn't matter, okay? Then we're going to go to the position feature. We're going to designate coordinates for our x and y. So we're just going to round to the nearest whole number. So 1.8 becomes 2. 1.8 becomes 2. All right, so what we're basically saying is go over for your x, go over two units, go down two units, and here's the start of our rectangle square. I say that every time. Duplicate it, put it really close by. If you put it really close by, you just round to the nearest whole number. 13.2 becomes 13, 2.056 becomes two, and duplicate, put this one close, 24 by two. Oops, 24 by 2. Okay, and one more. Right now we're just building 24 squares completely flushed. And the reason why you want that is when you, the black background is going to be in pieces and we want to be able to just push them up against each other. We don't want to think about it. It's easier to push it straight up against each other and tape it, okay? Um, all right, so this Let's put this right here. This is 35, oops, and two. Okay, so now we have four flush squares. Go to your panel over here, hit shift, and select all four of them. Then we're gonna duplicate. We're gonna make this really close here, and we're gonna go change the coordinates to two and 13. Okay, so now we have eight, right? Hit your shift key, grab the, all eight squares in your right hand side panel, duplicate that. So it's not that hard to do this once you start building it. So here's our next eight, put it really close. This is two by 24 and let's duplicate that and just put it down just so that we have it. We don't have to worry about it. We'll get rid of the squares when, when we're ready. Okay, this becomes two and 46. Now, if this is too hard, or if this is your first time or second time, come back. <laughs> Do one of the easier ones at 24 inches, 26 inches, even 30 inches, okay? This is for once you've already kind of like gotten the flow of the other ones, you're challenging yourself to do a gigantic one, okay? And we're doing a gigantic one making it look amazing, okay? Because I do have a problem with someone making it big, because technically, I mean, you see, we can make anything as big as we want, as long as each piece is cuttable on the Cricut, right? So I could make something 100 inches if I want to, but if the 100 inches doesn't look good and there's seams like running back and forth, why? It, it doesn't look good, right? So the I, this, I think this is gonna look amazing. <laughs> okay, so now that we've completely covered her, go over to your right-hand side panel, scroll all the way down. We're gonna grab the black image, go to arrange, send to the front. Now we're gonna look to see where we wanna slice things, okay? So we wanna make sure, and let me zoom in because I'm having a hard time looking at this. What you don't want is something like, this where this or okay where this little tip is cut off this tip is cut off we want big pieces okay so just make sure that wherever you put her like this right so let's scroll up to see okay so obviously her head's not even in okay um so this is a big chunk this is a big chunk this i don't want this little square right so we'll move it over a little bit this is okay. It's okay for her arm to be cut off. She's big, so there's just gonna be in multiple pieces. Um, but let's move this down like that. I don't want her arm. Okay, let's see what we have here. Okay, that's all good. This piece is by itself, but I'm okay. I think I'm okay with that. Let me see. Can we do anything else? pieces by itself. Okay, I don't love that. Um, okay, this is all fine down here. 
Okay, this is my struggle piece. I don't want this arm here, this little, well, this actually, this piece is all one big piece. Okay, so I just have that. This piece, that piece. Almost tempted to do something like better yeah let's see what this top looks like okay let's see what that looks like oh it's just a little bit let's see if I can get it really close okay I think we got it okay okay We'll just add two more, yeah. We'll just add some squares. Okay, so this is what we'll do. Let's zoom out for a second. We'll grab these four, because we don't need it up here, okay? So copy, or we got it. We'll move it down here. And this is why you also want to round because now when I move it, I just know I still have to round to the nearest whole number and they'll be flushed, okay? Okay, I think we've got it. So let's get rid of the squares we don't need. So let's delete that one. There's nothing in this one. Oh, I can't see. <laughs> There's nothing in this one and nothing in this one. Okay, let's start slicing. Okay, ready? One square at a time and the black image. Okay, so slice, slice. I can't believe we're almost done. I have to then cut this thing. This thing is gonna take forever to cut. It's gonna be so many pieces, but she's gonna look amazing. Now I am gonna do one more thing after this and you don't have to do this. Um, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna go back and make her hair in black glitter cardstock. Oops, hold on, undo that. So in the end, we still have one more step. Let me, let's move her over to the side, all the pieces that are sliced out. Keep it in order because this is a lot of pieces and this is gonna help you put your puzzle together. Okay, this was already sliced out, okay. All right, so all these pieces, I'm gonna delete all the slice results we don't need. Is this one out? Okay, so this one needs to be sliced. Oh, it is already sliced. No, it's not, undo, weird. It's also, Design Space gets glitchy when you have a lot of pieces like this. So just continue slicing. Okay, get rid of this. Okay. Keep slicing. We're almost to the end. This is such a crazy project. But really, I mean, if you were doing 30 inches, this would have been over like 30 minutes ago. <laughs> oh man, this little piece right here. That was a bad mistake on my part. I didn't notice that little piece. It's okay, we can, we'll, I mean, it is what it is. I'm not gonna undo at this point, it's too much, but, um, I would, would not have liked that little piece right there, but it's okay. It's small and I don't, hopefully no one will notice. We'll see. <laughs> Let's slice, keep, oh, I hit the delete key. Thank God we can undo. So keep slicing. We're almost 
almost to the end. Unless, of course, you want to do the glitter here. <laughs> Which I'm going to do because if I'm going to do this really big, and this is for me, she's going to look amazing. Okay, so something like that. Okay. And I probably should get rid of this. Grab your slice results and delete. What is this little guy? How did that happen? What? Okay, we'll need to, I'm gonna put it like that so we can fix that. I don't know what happened there. Let's just continue slicing. I can feel it. We're almost done. <laughs> slice. Our last slice. Okay. So many pieces. <laughs> All right, we're done. Hold on, let's save this. <sighs> Don't do me wrong, okay, cool. Let's get rid of these. Okay, and then let's zoom in for these two pieces. I don't know how I, I don't know what happened there but I'm gonna weld this back together. I just need to see what we have here. Okay. So let's put it in as best as we can. Okay, grab the two and weld. Oh, well, that's just a 12 by, okay. It's not completely even, but it's okay. Let's make that black. Let's put it back, make it small so we can see what we're doing here. Okay. So this piece is like this. Actually, I don't know anymore. It's so big, I have no idea. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna leave this as is and I'm gonna let you go. Now, if you want to do her hair in black glitter cardstock, I'm gonna start a new project, okay? So, let's save this. And I'm starting a new one because it's the only thing in black glitter cardstock, and I don't wanna complicate this project anymore. So let's, let me go to the Make It screen. I wanna show you a couple things, a couple more Cricut tips, okay, just in case. Okay, let's see her. Okay, we're gonna need to, Twist this around a little bit. Why is this the case? Can we twist some more? We wanna make sure, hold on, why is that doing that to me? This fit at one point. Hold on, I can't see it this way. All right, let's see if we can do something like this. No. Her face, we were able to get it to... Why is it so big? Okay. Let's turn it some more. We were able to get it to fit. Okay, here we go. Let's turn it some more. What in the world? Okay. I 
I don't know what happened. So when you put this piece down, put your paper not at the top, okay? Give it some space because it doesn't start cutting till 11.25 and then it's gonna go to here. So we're just gonna trick it. Have your 11 by uh, 12 by 24 mat your paper is going to go down to here. We may lose a little bit. I thought we had this figured out, but okay. Um, you know that you can move these things, right? To make it work, like to make it more efficient. You could do something like this, move it around. Okay, so those are your white pieces. This is her skin. I only have 12 by 24, so you just need to move these things around. I always use a 12 by 24 mat. Just make sure that there's nothing at this 12 inch line, okay? Then you can put two 12 by 12 pieces of cardstock on. But you can make, you can make this more efficient. You can move things around, okay? All right, so this is getting glitchy because look at this. <laughs> it's just completely off the mat. But this one will fit if you turn it but it's glitchy right now, so we're gonna need to come back to this. Um, I guess I can't show you, look at this over here. It's going banana, so just cancel out of it. I always cancel and go back in and it should be fine. But we already saved this one. I'm gonna let you go, unless you wanna stay for the hair. We're gonna create a new project. And this is just for the hair, okay? So go to view all, let's bring her back in. I bought this file on Etsy and it's from lemon company studios and this is the reason why i make it a certain height because if i need to do something like this i can easily just type in the height it was 61 inches um let's go back here okay so her hair is down here here and all of this so I'm gonna ungroup. Let's do, okay. We gotta think about this little by little, okay? So I'm gonna use this little hair piece right here, or here. Let's bring in a circle. I'm gonna change, let's see. I'm gonna do the hair. I don't even know what I'm doing right now. <laughs> Let's think about this. Okay. So let's slice the skin and hit your shift key and the background and let's slice that. Because that will give us a lot of information. So her hair. Okay. So let's get rid of this and hold on. Stick with me, okay? Let's upload. Let's go find her again because we need sort of a visual. Okay, here she is. Insert. So here's our visual of her hair, okay? We're gonna make this, we're gonna flatten it so it doesn't confuse us with the number of pieces, okay? So here is the top of her hair. Okay, let's send this black image, arrange, send to the back because we want to, what else do we wanna do? Let's slice out this and hit the shift key and get this and slice that out. Okay. Then let's bring this, arrange, send to the back. Let's slice her, the black image, and the gold. So now we kind of have like what we want. Now we can get rid of all of our pieces. Okay. Oops, we want that. We'll move that and then we'll get rid of all of this. Okay. So first off, let's hmm. 
let's get rid of just her bottom right now just so that we could stop somewhere, right? Come on. We don't have that many pieces anymore. Why would it let me? Okay. Oops. Let's just help ourselves by getting rid of her bottom half. Okay, so we're gonna slice. Okay. Because we really only want this right here. Um, I'm slowly making it smaller and isolating all the all her hair pieces, okay? So let's delete that. Okay. So now what I want to do is I want to extend this. So oops. Let's extend this out. like okay let's slice these two things out i don't know what i'm doing <laughs> we're just gonna wing it okay so let's see i don't need that this i don't know what i'm doing okay hold on I'm do, what am I doing? Did I want that? Uh, let's, hold on. Let's weld that back. I don't know what I'm doing, hold on. This should not be that hard. Let's contour and just see what we have. Okay, let's hide all. There. Oops. Okay, let's see if that helps us a little bit. Okay, so let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of the eyebrow right there. Let's slice that out. Okay, let's get rid of the eye. Right here. Oh my God, I'm losing it right now. I think I need lunch. Okay, let's slice that out. Okay, then this we can get rid of the eye. So let's contour. Let's get rid of that. Okay, so we're starting to isolate pieces. We need to, okay, this is making more sense. Okay, let's cut off right here. Because that's going to be the end of her hair, right? Um, maybe a little bit more. Yeah, like that. Okay. Oops. Oh my God. Sorry guys. Okay. So let's slice out that piece. We're just cleaning this up. So this is her hair. Um, let's, oh no, I got, I lost. Okay. Darn it. I lost.
lost a little piece of it as we went along, but let's see how big this is. Okay. Um, I'm, let's see, her hair goes down right here. And then her arm goes up right here. So let me think about this. We're putting other pieces down. Okay. Let's just start. Let's see her. This is her face. This comes down. But somewhere right here. That's where I messed up. Let's shoot. Okay, let's get rid of. This is her dress. I could get rid of this line right here. And this piece is her neck, so we could do something like that. Slice. And her hair only goes over to here somewhere. And it goes down. This is part of her hair but not her arm. We're just slowly eliminating pieces, okay? This is not clean by any stretch of imagination. <laughs> but I'm not thinking that well right now, so I need to just clean this up as best as I can. Okay. So this is more of her hair, right? Now, what we can do is bring her in again. And this time with it being cleaner, we should be able to slice out a lot of things. So let's make her 61 inches. Okay. Um, let's make this hair a different color just so that we could see it better, okay? And we'll bring it arranged, send to the front. Uh, oh, it is in the front. Nope. Okay. So what we can do is slice, let's see, let's grab this and ungroup. Let's slice out the skin with her hair. We're kind of just redoing everything and then slicing out the outfit and her pink. And I think this time we'll have a better feel. Okay, so now we can take this over and now we can get rid of all this. Okay, so now we have a better feel. So now we can, you know, trim this part, trim out. I'm almost tempted to hand cut it. So like separate out this right here so that it's in two pieces. That way this piece, when you get this for her hair, you can just trim off this with scissors and that will be a good cut. And it'll be separated, see? So this is what we're doing with this. Okay. So let's continue doing that. Same thing with this. You can trim off all of this. Um, let's do a slice right there. And okay, so let's break this up into two pieces. Let's break out this piece down here by itself so that we can get a better feel for what's left. Okay. So this is the bottom piece. Let's get this piece right here. We can cut out um, right here. Let's see. Let's just do a break right here. Nice. So 
So now this piece you can clean up with your scissors. So let's break this up into two pieces. Contour, we're getting there. This one and this one. Um, oh, we need to break it up right here. Okay, so. I don't know, do I have anybody left? <laughs> Am I just talking out loud to myself right now? This is for my hardcore followers who are gonna do this gigantic and do it well. Okay, so now let's go to contour. Let's separate out this piece right here. So hide all, I want this piece and I don't want this piece. Okay, so now we can clean this up with scissors. That's that piece right there. This is this piece right here and now we have just the hair. So we'll slice it right there for a second. right here all right we're almost there okay and then let's go to contour let's hide out hide all we just want that top part okay all right let's look at this this is 18 by 16 so let's see Let's just make this smaller right here. Let's get rid of that. So we'll cause a break right there. And by causing a break, you can then contour out the pieces. So when we go here and go to contour, we can contour out the chin right here, right? Okay. Then let's see how big this piece is. 18 by 16. I think if we just do a slice right here, so let's bring in our text. I love glitter. No, we don't want that. We want a circle because I only want a seam. I don't want a deliberate cut. So I'm going to make this really big. And I'm going to have it sliced. Hold on, maybe this will be. So it's gonna be a seam right there, okay. Slice. Now I didn't cover this whole thing, so it's gonna be a little complicated, but we've got this. Move this, okay. Um, duplicate that, so that's gonna be this side. Grab this contour. We don't want this. We want that. We want to weld this back together. Why is this still so big? Here's our other piece. Okay, so let's contour this, get rid of this piece. So this is this side of her hair which can be Okay, that piece is that. This piece is this. This piece is this. So this piece is still this thing and it's still way too big. We need one more slice somewhere. Maybe just right here. That will still make that 16. Okay. Gotta kinda just do it in half. So let's just do something like this and I'll just be a seam right there. Can I make this? All right, we're done. So this is same black glitter hair jasmine 61 inches. All right, I'm gonna see you after I cut this. <laughs> Project not same.
I gotta go. Bye guys. <laughs>